Little one, two. The heaven of Brian. Papi making it run. Can we find him? What a ball. First time shot. Woo! This is what I mean about this card. That high finishing and power means he can absolutely rifle it early into the corners there. And that is a top level finish. We are looking at the 89 rated hero Papine, high medium, five foot nine, three star, four star, play striker, center forward, right footed, absolutely unbelievably good shot power finishing, great acceleration and sprint speed, really good agility and balance, good composure, great stamina, good headering accuracy. In terms of play styles, we have got power shot plus, power header, acrobat and traveller. And we have actually gone for an engine today. It's really to maximize that agility and balance as well as that short pass you can see on your screen there and the pace as well. Reason why we've done this is because it makes him into mostly explosive, which is probably just underneath my camera, I hope. And the reason why most explosive is so good, in my opinion, is the best one to have on your strike, especially in the formation we're playing. Makes him into a 90 rated striker. Now he has an average body type, and of course, being 5'9", 176 centimetres, with this extra boost in agility and balance, he should be really, really good going forward, as well as on the less stick dribble and, and, of course, skill moves on top of that. Even though they're three-star, there are a few skill moves that he can get away with. Now, his main job for us today is to play up front on his own. We are playing in a 4-2-3-1 system. He's going to be in rivals today, and this is what the team looks like with Papine in just underneath. We've got Sala underneath my camera, and you can see there we've got a strong team. So this is going to jump right there with the introduction of today. kits, tokens, and now evolutions needed FC points or coins to complete them there is no better time than to head over to iggm.com get yourself some coins very very cheap fast and reliable use discount code nanic at the store and get five percent off the link will be in the description so we are in rivals as mentioned and i've already played a few games of papine already and i have to say his lestic dribbling is really responsive he does feel a little bit weak but we are playing in a 4-2-3-1 as mentioned he's going to be up front on his own but doesn't mean he won't have support because my left cam and right cam will overlap as well as my central cam as well so we kind of got like two up front and then in defense we've got one back up front if that makes sense so we got him here like here and then we've got that pass out wide to sala that's kind of how this role works and that's going to be his job, really. Of course, he's going to get goals for us. That's his main purpose. But he's also his link-up play. How he feels in certain situations. Fine, Papine here. Good hold up. Little one-two. Couldn't return the favor there. He's clean through. But that's something I really like about the card is his movement. Well, Papine in between. A lovely ball. There's that two-star skill, three-star skill with the men. And we got away, away from it. And a good defense there from Marejo. But you can see, though, even in terms of skill moves, even though he's got three-star, he can still do a few of them to get the space open. Just a little bit lacking when it comes to full speed, but not a problem. Again, another cutback. Welcome to Rivals, ladies and gentlemen, where everybody just cuts back. Papine through one-on-one. -on -one. It's a bad touch, but good control. Papine, Travella, and we are back in the game. One all, good finish from him. He didn't really have much help around him, but we got through. Player switching as well. You can see we got ourselves a high level game here. But the problem I find with this game in particular is everybody's just cut back in, cut back, cut back, cut back. Shot cancel. Good tackle from myself there. We've got a really sweaty opponent on our hands here. Shot canceling, player switching. Can he handle Papino as we do get him through here? Good pass. Trying to get away from Blanc. We do. Good skill from him. Just going to hold up the ball for a minute. Oh, lovely pass in. Salah. Nearly a penalty. I don't know how we didn't get a penalty there. And again. Good tackle this time, though. But you can see there the problems he's causing. Kevin De Bruyne. Papin. Power shot plus. Good save from the goalkeeper. We'll have a look at your set pieces to see if he can take corners, free kicks, or penalties. Interesting to see if he can. We haven't had one yet with him. And let's have a look. So he's really good at pens. Good curl, but a terrible free kick, actually. So we're actually going to call it short and just see if we can get ourselves some space here. Papine's at back post. Oh! That is a shame. I don't know why he didn't header it, but we only had a really nice goal there. Papine running on last man. You can see him here. Good touch. What's the matter with the pace? Doesn't matter. Bit of skill as well. Back into the power shot. Oh, it's another good save. You can just see how quick he is on the skill animation with that directional heel to heel. Very unlucky not to have the leaders. Some bad defending from me. Got to be careful here not to get blitzed. Well, we've got nowhere to go. Papine's been absolutely manhandled here. We do get ourselves a good pass. If we find him, we can. Link up. Back into Papine. Bit of skill. Pass one. Left stick. Bad skill move. We do get through. Oh. It went out for a corner. There's no way. I can't believe we have not had another goal. You can see how he's just destroying the defenders here. Interception, Papine here. 
Going for that yellow time shot and a good save again. We are getting some very really long range shots here. Can't quite get close enough. The only time we have done, he's been saved, I think it was. Yeah, reset the attack out wide. Find Son. Oh, it's a good tackle. We do keep the ball though. Papin. Oh, trying to do a bit of skill to get past. And that looks like it's going to be half time. So we actually should have had a couple goals with him there. The overhead kick, or whatever you want to call it, we miss. That little bit of skill in between, even though he can't do the battle to spin very well, he did get away with it there, and we still didn't manage to capitalize. But he's getting in the right places. The only thing I'm going to change here is get the pie off. I'm going to bring on Mkhitaryan. I like him out front at the moment. The only thing I might change actually saying that is get Dembele on as well. But he is linking up with everybody really nicely. He's getting some good chances. Half chances, if you want to call it that. Power shot is becoming him really helpful as well. But let's see if we can get ourselves another goal here. Left foot. Woo -hoo -hoo! Two goals for him there. Breaking through from the halfway and then managing to get in that goal. We'll take that. 2-1 up. Both of those chances he scored. That's a really good finish for him as well. Having that high shot power and finishing is coming. Clutch for us. Got Dembele at the top. We find him. We can. Going to slide down the attack a minute. Our opponent's starting to lose his head a little bit. That's fine with me. With that tackle. Papin. Lovely turn. Oh, I couldn't get the shot off there. Got Papin in between the lines. Got Son at the bottom. Can we find him? It's not the best ball over the top. That was actually a really bad pass, I have to say. Does win the tackle back, though. Good tackle from him. Nowhere to go, but we'll take the throw in. Makes up for his mistake. We like to see that. Let me Mkhitaryan. Oh, look at that for the football. Papi in there. Just a little tap in. Doing with the gritty because he's been so toxic against us. Three goals in that game. Lovely little play there. Quick little passes in between. And a lovely little left foot underneath the goalkeeper as he dives. We'll take that every single time. Let's go jump into another game. So into our second game then. So far, so good from Papin. Three goals there. Couple of them are good time shots outside the box. And one lovely little tap in. Now we are playing against two people I've just seen in rivals. Which is really frustrating. But let's just see if they can handle Papin and his ability to basically get in behind the lines. One thing I do like about the card is you don't really notice the pace. And because of how quick he is on the left stick dribble. Oh, he's offside, unfortunately. But how quick you notice him on the left hand dribble. Or left stick dribble, sorry. He gives you so much opportunities for either a pass, a shot. Creates a lot of space. Ball through. Papino, last man against Rudiger. Good hold up. Waiting for Salah to run through. Find him against Mendy. Good tackle from Militao there. Again, good tackle from him. Getting his body in the way. Papin there again. Good hold up play from him. Find Son. Going for that long range shot. Right at the keeper. And we get a corner. But again, good hold up. Coming a bit deeper for us to pick the ball up. We are going to bring somebody over here. And then see if we can find Papin in the box of a cross. It goes out for a throw, unfortunately. Kevin De Bruyne lays it back. The pie, Papin, lovely skill, touch, and it's kicked it wide. No, a little one-two. De Kevin De Bruyne, Papin making it run. Can we find him. What a ball! First time shot. Woo! This is what I mean about this card. That high finishing and power means he can absolutely rifle it early into the corners there, and that is a top-level finish. Papin here, lays it off to Valverde, straight in. Papin running. Go for that finesse. Oh, it's a good save from Courtois again. Oh, we're going to go short. Papin at the back stick. We find him, we can. Wins our header and a lovely goal for him as well. Five foot nine, but he still dominates with the headers. Two goals in this game, three goals in the last one. For 50k, this card is very underrated. Papin already, can we find him? Oh, it's a good tackle from Lorente. He's going to stay on as well. Pressure him. Win that ball back. Papin on the ball. Nowhere to go. Going to give it to Valverde. Back to Papin. Finds Kevin De Bruyne. Back to Papin. First time finesse, a hat trick. And I don't know what else can sum up this card. Playing him up front on his own. He can do the link up. He can do the finishing. There is no pace issue with him. The only thing I would say is his strength. But again, he's been holding off the tackles this game in the last. After I moaned about it in a couple of the games that I played off camera. He's done very, very well for us. Right, let's go. Counter attack. Straight away into Son's feet. Papi making that run nice and early for us. Can we find him with a pass? Of course we can. Little layoff. Good hold up play from him. Now we've got the other option. Oh, he's one on one. I'm going to have to sweat it. A lovely pass across. And again, that all came from Papin with the one two, giving Son the space to play it back and then the easy sweat goal across. Lovely build up play from him there and a really good example of what he can do in those situations. Fine, Papin here. Good hold up again. Straight into Salah's path. Now he's running already for us. Salah's got a little bit of work to do here. 
A good tackle, unfortunately. But we do pick up the loose ball here. Papin going to go for that power shot. And another goal. And this is why the power shot plus is so broken. Looks like another raise quit as well. He got four goals in assists in this game. Three goals in the last game. And just using them up front on his own is absolutely terrifying for your opponent. Once he starts getting better cards as well, we could be in for a really good card. Let's go jump back over to Footbin now. So it's about 51,000 coins, which I think is absolutely disgustingly cheap for a card this good. There are rumors of a base hero SBC coming out. So if you get him from that... I'm not sure if that's going to be an L or a dub, depending on the price. But we went for an engine, and the main reason was to boost up our agility, balance, passing, and his acceleration sprint speed. Because his finishing and shot power is so high already, you really don't need to touch it. And I kind of hope I've proven that today in the review. You can just see how good he was. His ability to get in behind. The only thing I didn't like was this 77 strength. But we are playing against the likes of Blancs, the Van Dykes, the Militaos, the Marquinhoses, etc. So it is kind of understandable. Now... Pace is a little bit of an issue. That's why I think he's better as a supporting striker than the main. So in the system that I play, he's up front on his own. But he can get passes off and link up, which you saw in a few goals there. But if he does get through, he can also finish his dinner and get the goal as well. Whereas I think he's probably better suited in a two system. So you have a really fast striker and then you have Papi next to him. Or if you are going to play him up front, you've got two really quick wingers to sort of bounce off him. But overall, really, really good. Now, because he has the power shot plus as a play style... If your opponent backs off and backs off and backs off, you can get the power shot off really quick. Which, if you get it on target, 9 out of 10 times it'll go in. We saw the goal that we scored in between the box when we were being chased down by Mendy. And he managed to finish it as well. But overall, this is a really, really good card. If you have any questions, please let me know and comment down below. If you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.